According to personal trainer lifestyle coach Bob Harper from the Saturn Evening Post, he states that the air squat is for strength and balance and is one of the fundamental functions of fitness. It's great for body toning and really great to burn those calories. Hi guys, my name is Kayla. Today I'm going to perform the air squat, which is pretty much just using your own body weight. Uh, the air squat is going to be working your quadriceps, your hamstrings, and your glutes. The quadriceps consist of the rectus femoris, the vastus lateralis, and the vastus medialis. And then in your hamstrings, it's going to consist of the biceps femoris, the semi-membranosus, and the semi-tendinosus, as well as your glutes, which is your gluteus minimus and gluteus maximus. Okay, so for the air squat, you want to make sure that basically your feet are shoulder width apart, depending if you want to, if you need it for a broader base, so you can get more of a balance. You can have your feet a little bit more wider, but if you want to challenge yourself, you want to bring them in a little bit more. But basically, it's just shoulder width apart. When you go, knees are going to be straight. Pretty much a rule of thumb is you want to make sure your knees are going right between your, uh, your big toe and your second toe. So just right here. Instead of going here or here, you want to make sure you're right in the middle. And in the squat, you can place your hands anywhere you want. So you can have them on your shoulders. You can have them out in front of you. You can have them on your hips, wherever you feel most comfortable with. And then so when we're going into squat, like I'm going to have my, my feet shoulder width apart. And my hands are going to be on my hips. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to come up. When we're going down, we want to make sure we're not into, we're not in flexion or we're not in complete extension. We want to keep the spine in its natural curve, so we're just right here. You want to make sure you're going into 90 degrees with your knees bent, your butt back, like you're reaching to sit in a chair. Or we're going to come back up. We're going to go down, and we're going to come back up. And so to add more resistance to the squat, you can hold weights in your hands. You can hold anything from a can of food, water bottles, to your own child to create more resistance to make it more challenging for yourself. So today I did demonstrate the air squat. I hope it guys helps you out in the future. And once again, my name is Kayla and I hope you guys have a great day.